Welcome traders to the Tick Mill Weekly Market Outlook for week commencing the 29th of August with me, Patrick Munley. In the US, it's really all going to be about the August jobs report, the focus of the trading world's attention for this week. Uh, despite the US having been in technical recession through the first half of the year, the economy has created 3.2 million jobs year to date, with 528,000 of them coming in July alone. Markets don't expect anything like that for August, though given vacancies have started to fall off and business surveys have suggested more caution on the economic outlook. Nonetheless, a 250k print would still be very respectable and will certainly keep the Fed in hiking mode, with the unemployment rate set to remain at 3.5% and wages continuing to push higher. Uh, markets favour a 50 basis point hike on uh, September the 21st rather than a 75 basis point move. However, should the economy add substantially more jobs, say 350k plus, and the wage number posts a second consecutive 0.5% month on month increase or higher, then it could swing the argument in favour of that 75 basis point move, especially after we had that hawkish tone from Powell at the Jackson Hole Symposium on Friday. Other data of note will be the ISM manufacturing report and construction spending, while August auto sales numbers will give an early indication of consumer spending. Also watch out for a number of Federal Reserve speakers, uh, obviously following up on Powell's comments on Friday. So from a technical perspective, dollar index saw a decent outside reversal on Friday, so I'm looking for follow through early in the week. And ultimately, we're looking for a move up through 110 to test into the 110.30, 110.50 area. From here, I'm going to be watching uh, for bearish momentum divergence to be maintained, to actually watch for bearish reversal patterns to engage on the short side, looking for a corrective move back into test support down to 104.50s before setting a base for the next push higher. Moving to the Eurozone, and it's a big week for Eurozone data with the August inflation reading out on Wednesday and unemployment due on Thursday. With the September ECB meeting coming up, the debate between hawks and doves has become more heated, again as governing council members are returning from their holidays. These figures will be key inputs for the meeting. While some supply side factors are currently bringing relief as input costs fade, Gas crisis continues to push prices for consumers up at a very fast pace. Expect another increase in the Eurozone inflation reading for August. The unemployment rate will give a sense of whether the labour market is responding to weaker economic circumstances. Moving to the charts here, Euro rejected from resistance at the 10090s. Now looking for follow through earlier in the week, and we're actually looking for a test down now into the yearly S3 into this 9760 area. From there, as long as we maintain bullish momentum divergence, we'll be watching for uh, bullish reversal patterns to actually engage on the long side, initially looking for a move up to retest trend channel resistance uh, cited at the uh, just below the uh, 101 level. We can get through there, we look for an extension up to retest that uh, resistance area at the 103.60s. Moving to the UK and uh, lighter data week for, uh, for the UK, we uh, were actually only looking at uh, nationwide house prices uh, to be released on Monday looking for a 0.1% print there. Uh, then we also get Tuesday uh, net consumer credit looking for a 1.8 billion print there versus 1.6 billion print uh, in the prior month. And uh, that really is the only data of note coming out uh, in the UK next week. Obviously attention still on political developments with respect to uh, the new prime minister hotly tipped to be Liz Truss at this stage. So from a technical perspective, Sterling put in an outside reversal on Friday, a bearish pattern. So I'm looking for an extension now down through these uh, prior lows at the 117.20. And I'm looking now for price to test into 115. From there, watch for bullish reversal patterns to uh, potentially engage on the long side, initially targeting a move back up into uh, test the projected channel resistance coming in at 120.50. At this stage, only a loss of 114 on the downside, 
would suggest that we have further to go uh, to the downside and the next area of interest will be the 110 level. In terms of the yen and uh, Japanese data next week, again, uh, a little light on the calendar. We do get a new composite leading economic index on uh, Monday, looking for 100.6 print there. Uh, we will also get the jobless rate on uh, Monday. 2.6% is, 2 is the anticipated print there. And then on uh, Wednesday, uh, sorry, Tuesday, we get retail trade looking for a negative 1.3% month over month with a uh, year over year of 1.5. And uh, we then get consumer confidence on Wednesday looking for a 30.2 print there. We also get housing starts looking for negative uh, 2.2 in terms of housing starts and then we round out the week with capital spending on Thursday looking for a 3.0 print there. So from a technical perspective, Dolly Yen uh, put in a bullish reversal pattern on Friday. So I'm looking as long as we maintain support now at 135.70s, I'm looking for an extension up to test 140 on the upside. From there, I'll be watching for uh, bearish momentum divergence, uh, bearish reversal patterns to engage on the short side looking for a pullback into the 133.90s. And rounding out the week down under with Australia on um, Tuesday, we get building approvals, looking for a 2.6 print there, month over month. Then heading into Wednesday, we get private, se private sector credit, looking for an improvement there, up from 0 0.8 last time to a 0.9%. We also get private sector credit looking for a 9.1 print there and then we round out the week uh, on Thursday with private capital expenditure looking for a negative 0.3 print there from a technical perspective the Aussie dollar bearish outside reversal pattern so looking now for a test of this potential uh, pitchfork support here coming in 68.40s from there watch for bullish reversal patterns to engage on the long side looking for move up into the high volume node at 7180s. At this stage, any close back through the 6840s will be a bearish development. We did get an inside bearish week in terms of the weekly candlestick setup there. So any follow through through those 6840s, I want to be engaged on the short side, ultimately looking for a test of the equality objective versus the swing high at 7660s. We are targeting a test of 6640s. And we'll just wrap things up by checking in to see how, where Bitcoin is over the weekend. We have traded below the uh, trend channel support, testing the 20K level, actually printing below 20K uh, in, over the weekend. So we will see now, as long as we maintain resistance at the 20, 21,800 to 22,000 level, we are looking for this test of the major equality objective down to 12,185. And that concludes the weekly market outlook for week commencing the 29th of August. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next week, thanks very much.